Okay, so tonight I'm going to be showing you a really quick and simple and all natural way to wash your face with just two household products. Um, I just got home from work and I've already taken all my makeup off. Um, I actually used baby oil for the first time to take off my eye makeup tonight. Um, my friend Amanda just did a video about that actually and I made me really want to try it because I was one of those people that used wipes and would like scrub and scrub and scrub my eyes, like pull up my eyelashes to get the mascara off and it's just really not good for your eyes. And I used the baby oil tonight and she's right, it comes right off and it worked really, really well and so I'm really happy with it. So all my makeup is already off so you're going to want to have a clean, well not a clean face but just like not have any makeup on before you do this um, face wash. It's not a makeup remover, it's like a dirt and oil remover and um, what the ingredients are are just household aspirin. You can get this anywhere. Um, yep, just regular aspirin. And honey, which you can also get anywhere. And those are the only two ingredients. So what I've already done is put the aspirin here on the plate. You need three of them. Let me move this down so you guys can see what I'm doing up close. So, here's the aspirin already on the plate. And what I'm going to do is, I have some water in this bowl right here. So I'm going to add just a few droplets of water on each one, just to soften them up a bit. And you take a spoon and you crush them. So it's going to make kind of like a pasty puddle of aspirin and water in the plate. Oops. Make sure there's no huge chunks. And what this aspirin is going to do is kill all the bacteria on your face. That's what the aspirin's for. And the water is just water to soften it. It's just like a base. Next, you're going to take the honey and add it to the mixture. About a teaspoon or less is fine. And the honey is just a natural lubricant for the face wash. You're going to mix it up until it's a nice creamy, milky color. Get all the aspirin in there. And then, all right, let me move it back up. And then you're just going to take it with your fingertips and apply it all over your face like you would a face wash. I like to start with the areas that I am prone to breakouts with first, and you just rub it all in. This also exfoliates your skin while you're doing this, because the aspirin is um, kind of gritty, feeling like sand, um, and it smells good because of the honey. So you just rub it all in. And you're going to want to leave it on your face for 10 to 15 minutes like you would a face mask. But this doesn't make your face stiff or like it doesn't make your skin feel tight like a face mask would. Um, you honestly can't even, once it's on, you can't feel that anything is on your face. It just feels nice and clean. So... This is all on my face now, and I'm just going to wait the 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then what you would do is, after that amount of time, it does dry. It doesn't get you tight though, like I said. And you're going to want to take your fingertips before you rinse it off your face. Make sure this is the most important part. And you're going to want to take your hands and just like scrub like I just was, but not adding like water or anything to your fingers, just purely scrub it off and what it's going to do is it's going to be a little painful but not like anything overbearing or anything um, and it's just going to break off all your dead skin cells and then you're going to rinse your face off and I like to use cool water because um, that way it won't open your pores back up to let bacteria back in it will keep them nice and closed 
and your face is going to feel the softest it has ever felt. It is so good. Um, Amanda actually showed me this trick too. She found it somewhere. So I highly recommend it. Um, I just want to let you guys know a few updates in my life that are coming up. Nothing like crazy important or anything, so don't get worried. But um, I've been working every summer at a camp since I graduated high school. So this is going to be like my seventh or eighth year. And I decided to do it part-time this year because I have my actual job. And so that's starting tomorrow. And thinking about it now, I probably shouldn't have taken the job again this summer because I'm going to be super busy. I'm working um, like a few hours in the morning at camp, um, three days a week, and then going to my second job, second shift. And I don't get out of that job until midnight. And then I have to go back to camp the next morning and... So basically, um, my only day completely off for the next couple months is going to be Saturdays. So um, I'm not sure if it's going to have an impact on my videos or not. I'm hoping not. I, I should probably be able to work it out pretty well. But just so you know, like if I'm not on here putting up a video every single day like I, I can usually do now, that's why. Um, it's just because of camp. Camp's only a couple months and I needed some extra money to help pay off my loans. So that's why, that's the main reason I took the job when I did. Um, next is that collaboration that I'm part of, Beauty Bells. Um, it's starting tomorrow, which is Monday. Um, I probably won't post this video I'm making right now until tomorrow morning. It's Sunday night late right now. I just got to work, like I said. Um, and I'm the Monday girl, so uh, I'll be the first one posting a video. Um, the theme, we're going to have themes every week that all the girls are going to do. And the theme for this week is just an introduction, like telling you a little bit about myself. Um, so you guys should go, all go check that out. The link is in the other channels section on my page. Um, I can also put the link below. It's just Beauty Bells is the name of it. Um, got some great girls on the channel, so it should be really good. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, and, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna go put my pajamas on and go to bed because I have to get up early tomorrow. Um, oh, I want your guys' opinion on my toenail polish because it's a different color. I saw this stuff all over my fingers. But um, it's a different color, and I've been getting mixed reviews about it. Like, some people love it, and some people are like, ooh, what is that? So I'm going to try and pick up the camera and show you really quickly. Ooh. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Okay. So, here's my toes. Here we go. Let me know if you like the color. I know it's kind of dark, but... Well, the lighting is dark, I mean. So, yeah. just It's like a turquoise. It's a turquoise mood-changing color that I showed you guys in um, my mall haul video, I believe it was. And it's just the one from Claire's. And, um, yeah. So, I like it. I think it's a different color. So, just let me know what you think. Sorry if that was weird. Um, but I hope everybody's having a good night. And happy Monday. Bye.